Hello, my name is Mark Lombard and it's currently the 16th of April 2020. Myself and hopefully the rest of the world that have been affected by COVID-19 have been staying at home for the past couple of weeks to prevent spread of the virus. In the case of the Irish population, it's roughly day 42 of social distancing, at least for me anyway. And for me, it's been pretty all right. Like I've been able to catch up on a lot of music and film that I've been meaning to get around to. I've been going on some leisurely walks. I've been putting off that video assignment for as long as possible. You know, just taking a break from the speed of life, you know? It's been pretty all right up until recently. Uh, things are starting to get a little bit unusual as of late. And like, they, they feel like small things, but what tends to happen is that I, I tend to let these things go and they just get worse instead of me paying attention to them earlier on and trying to make sense of them. So what I'm doing now is making a daily record of my days and just see what happens. So here's my 42nd day of social distancing. I woke up today in panic from a bad dream. Not the best start to the day, but I try to compose myself and get started with the day. I went to have breakfast and start the day right, but I made a serious mistake. I poured the milk in before the cereal, like an absolute psychopath. Regardless, I had to get my breakfast into me and carry on. Next, I went to finish my creative biography for my psychology and creativity module. I added the finishing touches, proofread it a few times, and submitted it for grading, all while listening to a few new albums. I've noted that my tastes have started to lean more towards experimental stuff. I'm honestly surprised by my level of tolerance to it, maybe because it's sort of in the background or I've just listened to enough music to tolerate it, but to me it seems pretty alright and normal. I feel that my new liking to experimental music might start to inform the music I'm currently making with my little keyboard and software that I've got in my room. My songs, as they are now, feel mostly conventional. I feel this new appreciation for experimental music might inject something unique into these songs, or anything new I make. Of course, sitting in front of a screen all day isn't the healthiest thing to do, so I have to get some fresh air, you know? But the way that I go about it seems to be an issue with the people I've told about this. I get fresh air, but I don't go outside, not even out the back garden. I can't let myself get the virus. And sure, I know that I have no underlying health problems, I know that I'm very young, I know that my immune system is very strong, but no one can tell me, dead ass, that I'm not going to die from it. They just tell me that it's very unlikely that I will. I don't like those chances, so I go to the window for some fresh air. Not just any window though. I can only go to my brother's bedroom window. You see, if I get fresh air from my own bedroom window, anyone can just hop on the roof and cough in my face. Don't even ask about the ground floor windows, it's even easier for that to happen. And I imagine based off the reactions of my friends on this, that you wonder how my family feel about this. And to that I say, where do you think I got this idea? Mark, it's my turn at the window. Okay, all right. I know that sticking my head out the window won't provide me with enough sunlight for my skin and mental health, so I have to lie underneath UV light for like an hour or two. It's a bit boring, but it has to be done. At that point, I spend the rest of the night watching stuff on my laptop before going to bed. <sighs> Alright. I guess I can't brush over this if it's got to keep happening every night. I'm having an issue with the recurring dream. When I fall asleep, I'm walking around outside or in my back garden, being able to be outside at last without the worry of death. But then I wake up from within my dream, and I end up here. I wake up into a studio where I have to present the NFL section on a sports show, and I have no clue about what's going on in any sport let alone NFL. And now for Mark Lombard with the latest in NFL. Um, thanks, uh, Julia. Uh, the, the latest games this season were pretty good. Um, the Dallas Dolphins put up a good fight against the Cleveland Browns. Um, Bryce um, Madison got a last minute touchdown in the fifth quarter, I mean the, the last quarter of the game, which was very, um, it did them well, to be honest. Uh, Hunter Johnson got injured in a bad what scrum. What are you doing, man? You're getting this all wrong. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here. Yes, it's really obvious you don't know what you're doing, Mark. You're just making a fake player and team names. Yeah, I don't know anything about sport or NFL. 
I'm not interested in it. Well, I'm not interested in your excuses, Mark. This is your career. Your professional career, which you are just beating to death with your lack of competence. I can't work with this guy anymore. Someone get him off the show. I say that every time, but I always end up back here. Security! This man right here. And this happens every night. Always going the same way. Today I got more work done. I got a good bit of my responsive media project done, as well as having all my writing for media and psychology assignments done. You know, it feels good to be on top of all my modules, you know? So it's day 43 of social distancing. It's also day 43 of calling Adam and getting no response. I don't know why this is happening. I've even texted saying, hey, are you around? How's it going? Uh, but I'm just being completely ghosted, man, I, you know? Um, an epidemic really shows you who your true friends are, you know? It didn't matter later on though, when my friends from home started a group call and I had people to talk to, so you know, that was nice. Hello. Shut up. Mark. Yeah. Have you listened to The Strokes new album? Yes, I have. Love well. It. Love it. Great stuff. I've only heard the first three tracks, but I actually really like it so oh. far. During my UV session today, I felt something was off. I felt like the blue light was a different type of blue or something. I wonder does the colour matter. It's called ultraviolet, so maybe, but we'll see tomorrow anyway. No! Once again, I wake in fear and panic. The same nightmare as it always is. I can't keep living like this. I need to be able to pass this. So I decided to do my homework on the matter. All this anguish stems from my lack of knowledge on the score. So I need to be prepared this time. Stay away from the ums. However, I had to hold my research as my stomach reminded me that I hadn't had breakfast yet. So, this time I got the milk and cereal order right. But I realised I made another mistake. I only put the jam on my toast before I put on my butter. As before, this is not the current climate to waste any food, so... After another failed breakfast, I finished off my research for my dream job and went to get some fresh air. But something spooked me this time. <coughs> uh, well that's enough fresh air for today. Today, my new experimental inspirations have really taken a hold of me. I feel I'm pushing my boundaries and creating a truly new musical experience. It's missing a certain texture, like um, some noise. Oh yeah, some uh, some white noise. Oh, that'll do. After the music, I sat on the couch, struggling to think of what I should be doing. Something I might have forgotten about. Then I remembered my video project. Uh, I fell asleep early, and like always, the dream began. The final score of 35 to 14, with CJ Goodwin getting the most amount of touchdowns for his team. The Buffalo Bills and the Cleveland Browns are home. Again. Shit, what is it? No, wh what are you doing? I got the proper team names wrong, I'm sorry. Those are the proper names! names. God! <laughs> I should have trusted myself more in my research. But more practice is probably needed anyways. Today was the first day where I began to notice a sort of reversal going on. I noticed the one bad source in my life before these data records is slowly improving, while all the other good things are slowly going bad. For example, my reflection was a bit slow today. This has never happened before. My UV light is straying further away from the colour of blue. Today I'm sure of it. It's day 45 and Adam still won't pick up. Bastard. Adam, why are you ghosting me? 
Tom Brady has recently come out saying that he wished the pa Patriots would have listened to him before getting his replacement. He went on to say that he can still be his best without the Patriots and that he feels very welcome with his new home at um, the Seahawks? Incorrect! Why can't you ever act professionally, you incompetent piece of shit? Oh, I was so close that time. I'm gonna get it. Right now, man. The breakfast situation is just absurd at this point. I fixed the milk, I fixed the butter, but guess what? I forgot to defrost the bread because I had it in the freezer. I mean, are you kidding me? The music's always lacking. There's not enough experimentation, not enough texture, not enough uniqueness, not enough white noise. The UV light is now positively not blue. In fact, the opposite end of the color scale altogether. It looks like the sun, so maybe it still works. Burrow and Justin Herbert will look to turn around the fortunes of their respective franchises, as the hopes of the cities of Cincinnati and Miami lie on their shoulders. The next game between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers will be taking place tomorrow night, and you can catch our report of the game after the match. Back to you, Julia. Wow, Mark, that was pretty well done. Pretty competently spoken. We're impressed. Thanks, guys. Day 47, April 21st, and I finally nailed the NFL report. But my happiness was soon quashed once I realized that the digital video assignment is coming up too close for comfort. On the topic of assignments, I got an email that morning with the results back from my creative essay. Normally it takes a long while to get results back from assignments, especially essays like this, but it seemed like they were certain of my grade pretty soon, which was a zero. They said I submitted my essay in the font Empty Extra, which doesn't make for an easy read, but they said when they copied the text into another document to change the font, that the actual content was equally as nonsensical as it was in its original state. What is happening to me? I don't remember doing that. When I was at the window for fresh air, I could hear it again. But it was louder. It felt like I could hear everyone's voice. And they were all coughing at me. Later that day, I joined a group call with my Yo, friends. This comes in at the end of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, hey, Mark. Oh. That was so unnatural. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What are you doing, man? Where is he? Is he in or no? Hey, guys. Here. Is he gone again? Mark's frozen for me, so I don't even know if he's here or not. Oh, I can't see him. Frozen? He's frozen? He's frozen for me. Thank him. Oh, he's... You're a little bastard. Then I went to sleep knowing everything was going to be okay. And now over to Mark for the latest in NBA. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, we're back to this. Say something. I don't know what to do. I you can't didn't... believe you do this as soon as we give you the promotion up to the NBA slot. I didn't know you gave me a promotion. You don't seem to know anything, Mark. It's not fair. You told me I was doing I the... I don't know if you realise this, but you're not only embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing us on live television. This is on live television? Oh of no. Of course it's live. What did you think this was pre-recorded? Yeah, I did. Is that so stupid to think so? Oh my god, that's so stupid, you stupid, stupid man! Stupid! Stupid, stupid man, you stupid man! Stupid man! You can't even sport! Get this guy out of here! Go put him in the car! Get him out of here! Look at him! Look at him with his stupid tiny, stupid arms and his stupid face! Ah! Stupid! 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 You're so stupid! Stupid! stupid. Ah! I didn't have a very good dream. I went downstairs and sat at the table, but had no idea why. On another viewing of my failed essay, I think the situation is totally unjust. I think I was really onto something here, and that that lecture. It's an absolute cunt. My reflection isn't even showing up anymore. I should have at least thought about an idea for the video assignment. 
They're still there. And they want to kill me. Today the UV light went back to being blue. Until it didn't. This is it. All of this time has been built into my demise. But I feel it's not the end. I feel my soul is going to live forever. In hell. How did I get here? What did I do to deserve this? I swear to God, it's But I don't want to die. What's wrong? Sounds good enough. Fuck. It needs more texture. It needs more. Day 49, April 23rd. I woke up outside in my back garden. As you would have guessed, I was initially terrified. How did I end up outside? How long have I been outside? The answers didn't matter soon after I'd asked the questions, as I realized it was too late regardless. And in that difficult moment of realization, I managed to find a silver lining. I won't have to do that video assignment anymore, because I will soon be dead. Oh,